everyone, I'm Sonia and I'm in with the lemurs. I'm with our fabulous lemur keepers. We've got Christina and Mark and it's a hot sunny day. So we're going to give them a little bit of a tasty treat. We have some sweet potato that was stewed up and mushed into little balls of ice. So it's nice and cold. It's been in the freezer and it's the perfect treat for a hot sunny day. So here we go. We've got our tray of treats. We're going to pop out and see what the lemurs think of these. One really good thing for zookeepers to do is to think up all sorts of tasty enrichment, lots of different ways of presenting toys, puzzles, food, treats to keep our lemurs nice and active. So they've all got one each. Initially, we've dropped one, but it's okay. This is going to be picked up straight away. Nice, ice cold, sweet potato. It's one of their favorites. So they get to enjoy a nice cold treat. Sometimes they need a little helping hand, of course. So lemurs are found exclusively in Madagascar. There's around a hundred different types of lemur, but you will only find any of those types of lemur in Madagascar. They are not a monkey, but they are a primate, but they're built for this lovely hot sunny weather. They love to sunbathe. You might sometimes find a lemur sunbathing with their belly right out, enjoying the sunshine, but they've also got built-in sunglasses. So you can see that black fur around their eyes is the best way to deflect the sun so they can look straight at it and face the sun without having to squint. There's a little bit of sharesies going on here. Nice and cold. A good tasty treat. Definitely a success. So our lemurs are going to have to give these lots and lots and lots of those little lemur licks, melt them down and enjoy that frosty sweet potato inside. Be quite hard to hold on to your ice treat, but Spike here has definitely got the hang of it. I think he's the pro of the troop. Hale has also managed a particular technique of holding on to it. Some of them are finding it a little bit slippy, a little bit too cold to hold on to. But Hale and Spike have made it. So our lemurs have now finally got the idea of their iced treats, their iced sweet potato. They realise they've got to persevere. There was a lot of dropping of these uh, ice creams, as it were, to start with, a little bit slippery, straight from the freezer. But now we've got the hang of it. Now they realise they've got to hold on and keep licking. So now you can see every single one of our beautiful ring-tailed lemurs is nice and quiet, nice and still, and enjoying in a variety of positions their sweet potato ice cream. Ring-tailed lemurs, of course, because of these beautiful long tails, use them as a little bit of a signpost to help everyone follow where they're going, especially when they found such treats. But also, they use it in a stink fight sometimes as well. The boys especially, we do have a troop of boys all here, will sometimes rub scent from their scent glands, situated just around their elbows, and they'll rub their scent all over their tail and swish their tails at each other, making quite a racket whilst they do it. It's a really good way of deciding who is the most dominant lemur, who gets to pick the bestest of the lemur girlfriends. But at the moment, no stink fights, no noise, because everybody is enjoying their snack. Never have I ever seen our lemurs so occupied. And even Bottle Brush, staying good and quiet in the grass, doesn't want anyone to steal the sweet potato ice pop. <laughs> 